Good morning, folks. I've tried to avoid saying the word drought as we've been kind of bombarded with it lately, but for a quick update, it is still getting worse. Link is below to this, the official NOAA write-up on the Northwest Passage ice melt that recently rivaled the Greenland melt in unexpectedness. Two storms we got on Hurricane Tracker, but the primary threat is just south of Texas at this point. Remember also, check Torcon around lunchtime, midday. We had a 6.6 strike Indonesia this morning, a 4.3 hit New Zealand yesterday, and 15 hours later we got another one this morning. Mexico was rocking with a 4.2 as well, and a 5.0 a bit further off on the Pacific rise. We often get a big quake on the west coast subduction zone of the Americas when the Pacific Ridge lights up. We also had a 3.0 in Oklahoma, a volcano eruption in Indonesia, and a fire at the Tornes nuclear plant. They insist there is no public danger. Here we go with the solar wind. The orange spike is about as clear as we get. It is tough to tell if this is a glancing blow from a CME or the front leading density spike to the coming Corona hole stream that we expect soon. Today will tell the tale and the space weather quiet is officially over. While the quake watch kicked off with a bang, the flares took their sweet old time but broke it open yesterday. Pretty much right after the news, the M flares started popping. But here's the thing. These blasts were from behind the limb. If GOES had a clear shot at them, they might have registered much higher. The M5 that we got may have been close to an X-flare in reality. That spot has officially turned over the limb this morning. She is at least a Gamma class, much scarier than the little guy up front. We also had yet another eruption from this departing active region on the northwest. Its eruptions have been visual splendor, but not too much danger as she's pretty much turned the limb heading for the backside. These dark coronal holes on the south are the ones mentioned earlier that we expect to hit us soon. A few plasma filaments surrounding them. And up here near the equator on the left, the dark area turning in is our everlasting pyramid, snowman, big bird coronal hole that will not go away, coming in for another pass right about the time the August 23rd watches get going. <laughs> go figure. With this morning's Indonesia quake, that's four significant tremors during this watch. Let's hope we're done for now, but I'm not so sure we can expect the sun to quiet down. Hopefully with the watch ending, so will the bigger flares, especially with that new sunspot set to face Earth. That's the news, folks. Eyes open. Be safe.